Yo, what's up? This is your girl Dragon, and we got a special request. A tutorial. This tutorial is going to be for Slip. He wants to know how do you copy entire buildings in Fortnite? I'm going to go ahead and show you. Let's go. Thank you so much, Epic, for that. That's pretty cool. We will definitely check out that later. Let me go ahead. Let's get into creative and let me show you how to do this and get this done. Let me show you the first way. So we'll first start with the garage, all right? So this is what you're going to want to do. Now, if you want to copy it in the exact same position that it is in, there is this method called the cone method. And I want to give a shout out to Jekyll Hyde because he's the one who introduced me to this method. It's a fantastic method. So what you'll do is you'll lay down your fixated prop or whatever you want to call it, your fixated point, right? So consider this is your fixated point and you're going to copy everything. Even like the trees, right? You're going to do that as well. You know, if, if you have trees, of course. The entire interiors and everything. You can even do devices. And you can copy up to a max of 100. So right now I'm at 18, right? You wanna make sure everything is selected as much as you can go. So I'm only gonna do this building. I'll make sure I have everything all right, looks good, looks good. We have a total of 19 pieces. But what you have to do is once you select all that you can, you're going to select your fixated point, right? So that, that will be this cone here. All right, so once you do that, you want to L2 and choose whichever button you want to copy it to. So I'm choosing triangle. You can see that it, it's saved there. And once you do that, when you go to your bar, you can pull it up anytime you want, right? And you see the entire build there. So let's go ahead and place it. Let's say we're going to place it here, right? So. I can use the wall to level everything else. I see that it's touching the ground there. That's not bad. And let's just place it here. Never mind, I changed my mind. Let's just place it here. All right, so the driveway goes into the ground. That's fine. That's because the elevation is different compared to there. There's like a hill here going down. But the entire building has been basically duplicated to this spot, which is pretty cool. So what you'll do for a bigger building, let's say something like this, right? This has a lot going on in the interior you have art and a full kitchen a bedroom and all kinds of things going on here you would have to copy as many pieces as you can and then once you do that you'll copy it to your bar and then you'll have to start over and copy the pieces that you didn't get first time until you copy the entire building. You may have to do it more than once until you get the entire thing. So keep that in mind as well. So for example, I mean, I could do half of this just to give you an idea. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a go.
Alright, so I'm at 73 pieces now. And I'm just going to do like the outside of the building first. I'm at 84. Ninety-five. All right, one hundred. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect some and go to my cone here, right? I'm going to make sure I select the wall and the cone. I'm going to L2. I'm going to L2 and copy it to triangle, right? So I see how many pieces I have. I'm going to continue on and get the ones I didn't get. So let's go with this part. we're going to copy it to a different location on the bar. So there I use, I didn't get the top, so I'm gonna continue and just copy all this stuff up here. And don't worry if you get duplicates, it's okay. Sometimes it's good to just go over it again just to make sure you didn't miss anything. I'm already at 100. Wow, let's see. Let's not do the, um, the grill. Alright, so now I have three saved portions of the building. And what I'm going to do is let's say I move it over here, right? Now the land isn't so level, so keep that in mind. Um, let's, let's just try it right here. All right, so I'm gonna do it here. So every time I make the placement, I'm going to match it up with the cone. And you can see how much I have so far is an exact replica of the building. So let's continue. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest. I'm going to match up the cone. I'm going to make sure it's exactly the same. At the same angle and everything. So there's the cone. And 
and I can tell it's lined up because of the color that it changes. So make sure that your cone is properly lined up before you place. If you're not sure, it's always good to have a friend help you um, when placing it so they can let you know, hey, it's in the right place or no, it's not in the right place. All right, let's see here. All right, so that was just three parts, right? And look how much I have so far. You know, this house actually looks really good by the lake. You'll continue to do this method until you have the entire building. All right, that's it. Just continue this process until you have your entire building and you'll be good to go. And be sure to get your interiors and everything else like that. Now, again, this is one method. Let's go ahead and look at another way that you could do this. And it might actually be slightly faster. Um, there are some limitations if you do use this way, but let's go ahead and check it out. Using these two together will allow you to copy buildings instantaneously, but there are some limitations. So let's go ahead and explore what those are. When you're using, let's say for instance, the level instance device, it has to be mounted on a surface that you can build on um, or, a, or basically on a grid. Um, if you try to place it, for example, you see I have to lay down a wall on the floor just to place it. If you try to place it just like on the ground, you won't be able to place it in certain parts. It has to be on grid, so keep that in mind as well. Another limitation is that you can only build so high with these. All right, so let me go ahead and pull up here where you can see. The max height is seven. So if you're building skyscrapers or that type of thing, you may not want to use this because it's not going to copy the entire building. Another thing, let's see, the largest width and depth is also seven. So this is the most that you can build within this space. It's not bad at all, depending on what you're doing. Um, but you know, it just, it, it is limited compared to copying with the cunning method. You can basically copy anything with that, like an entire map you could do that with. But let's go ahead, let's just reduce this down back to, let's say, let's do like a three by three. And what we'll do is place this back here. So what we're gonna do is start building in here, right? So let's just do like a prefab, just to show you an example of how this works. Let's find something really cute and small. Let's go with what about the wood shanty hut? Looks great. And perfect, right? We got a perfect fit. All right, so what we're gonna do is load this up. And it's an exact replica, right? And what you could do with this is move it anywhere you want. Anywhere you want to move it. And you still have your base over there. So yeah, this is another way to save some time and use these devices if you're trying to duplicate buildings, especially trying to do it very fast. In addition, the other method, the cone method, works just as well and just as perfectly, especially when you know trying to put together really, really big builds. All right, this was a super quick tutorial. I had to put this together because I couldn't find one online for you. So I do hope this helped you out. If you do have any additional questions, feel free to drop them my way. It would be a pleasure to help. And thank you so much for being a part of the community, dude. Have a good one. Bye.